Hello everyone, this is Jozef Notch here and in this video I would like to bring you a video in the second CFD summer video um, about how to install OpenFOAM and I want to concentrate on the details of the installation. So please refer to my latest video how to install OpenFOAM, especially in Windows 10 because it also correlates to Ubuntu uh, in a Windows subsystem for Linux. So I brought up here a uh, a terminal so it all boils down that you download a tarball uh, in windows or if you're running then of course in ubuntu and then what you do you copy that tarball of the open form installation into your ubuntu home in your native ubuntu and also here in windows subsystem for linux so in ubuntu it's simple just copy, uh, just type in cp and then to downloads and then in Windows, you can access your downloads in slash MNT. C accesses your C drive in Windows. And then you can go to users. And Nutsa is my username. It might be different for you. And then downloads. And there you look for the open foam uh, tarball file. And then you just copy whatever it is. I just going to name it file. .tgz. So this is a different file name and then you press space and dot and this will copy it into your Linux home where your terminal starts. You press enter and then it copies it here. Then you extract it with the tar command and then your installation will be in a folder called open foam. Here, as you can see, I have a lot of installations uh, on my system because I do use uh, most of them. And for example, here is the latest release. So if you wanted to install 2012, it's actually not the latest anymore. It's the, uh, the second latest, but see, here is a version 2012. Uh, and here, the, if you uh, extract that tarball, then you will get the installation here. Not all of them, but version 2012. And then in order to access this installation, you have to add one line into a hidden text file. And this is where most people struggle with, with my installation video. And uh, I want to now explain what to do and why you do it. And so um, this hidden text file is called .bashrc and you can open it up with any uh, text editor. Easiest way is in a terminal with a terminal text editor. There are different text editors. I use in my videos the text editor called nano. So you type in n-a-n-o space and then the name of the hidden text file which is .bash rc just like you see it here on the right bottom side and then you press enter now this opens up in the terminal the text file and then with the cursor you can uh, go to the very bottom and as you can see all you have to add here is this one line and by adding this one line which is source and then there is a space then tilde uh, slash open form open form version 2012 just like what you saw before and then the subfolder etc slash and the file bash rc if you source this in this hidden uh, text file then your open form version will be loaded every time you open up a terminal now and this is the step where some people miss it that you have to save it before I save it, I want to point out that I have different aliases because I do use different kinds of versions. And uh, I, uh, I uh, link a string, for example, v2012 with this sourcing command. So it's the same as here in the bottom. I could just uncomment this if I wanted. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so here, uh, by, if I type in v2012, then the version 2012 will be loaded. If I type in v6, then version 6 is going to be loaded. So it, it is important, if you want to use one version, just type in this one line with the correct version number. And then now we are going to save. And how do you save in this text editor? And this is very important. So you press Control and O. 
at the same time. So and I'm, I'm just w watch on the bottom right hand side for the co uh, key combination. So control O at the same time. Then it says file name to write dot bash rc. Yeah, yeah, I want to overwrite it. Now I press enter. Now we saved it. And now we have to exit this text editor. And you can exit it similar way by pressing control and X. So I press now control X and now we exited it. And if you open up now a new terminal, then you will be able to execute block mesh here and version 2012, as I mentioned. Okay, so this is what I wanted to bring you in the second CFD summer uh, video that first you have to add the one line into uh, the bash rc and in bash rc if you are using different kinds of uh, versions then you can use aliases just to easily access them so please let me know the comment in the comment section below what you think about this installation procedure i mean i cannot really change it but uh there is now, uh, the, uh, I mean, with the .org version, you can use sudo apt-get install. And now with the latest 2106 version, you can also use sudo apt-get install. So soon, I, once VSLG is out uh, for the public and not just a, a pre-release, then I will do an installation video how to install open foam first with uh, how you install VSLG and then how you install open foam version 2106 within VSLG and this is going to be then with sudo apt-get but up until now you needed this version so please let me know your uh, ideas about the different ways how to install open foam your thoughts are in the comment section below let's start a discussion about that with that I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.